Hi everyone, my name is Indira Smith and I'm the marketing coordinator at Covalent. Today I'm joined with Ganesh Swami, who is, of course, as I'm sure you all know, the CEO and co-founder of Covalent. And today we will be delivering the bi-weekly update. So just to jump right in, do you have any message to the community you'd like to share? Yeah, I definitely have a message for, uh, for our folks. So don't fade bear market Covalent. The, the reason for our success today is because a lot of the code and a lot of the principles that we came up with were during the, the darkest moments of the previous bear market. So I'm not sure if you're entering another bear market or, or not, uh, nobody knows, but that's not gonna, we are not gonna waver in our commitment and in our ambition. We'll continue to ship products. We'll continue to have hackathons and do events and all kinds of things. So we're never gonna back, back down from uh, aggressively going after and building the best products and this this future vision that we have for the Web3 space. Amazing, thank you so much. Uh, and then uh, to dive into our very first update to the community, uh, would you mind telling us a bit about the staking parameter updates and how those are going? Absolutely. So the staking launched about a month ago. So in the first week of May, um, you know, so exactly a month ago. And we've taken a very measured approach to the, the governance and the staking parameters. Uh, this is for two reasons. One is that if we just opened up all of the room, what would happen is that the whales would come in and dominate the, the staking security. So that's uh, part of the issue. We wanna make this an open platform. We wanna have uh, equal access to, to all token holders. So it's a, it's a reason for having that. The second thing is that we take uh, security pretty seriously. So. We're not a DeFi protocol where we're competing on total value locked, right? This is a data middleware, which is uh, submitting proofs. So here TVL is not really our core metric. So here, what we've done is we've taken a very measured approach to, to scaling it up so that uh, at any point, if there's any kind of issue, we can, uh, we can uh, you know, fix that and address it rather than having it uh, run wild. So when we launched, we made a promise that every two weeks we'll be updating the parameters. And uh, we've done that twice so far in the past month. And this happens on a, on a Thursday every two weeks. So the next update is on the 2nd of June. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to up the uh, max cap uh, or the multiplier. So right now, uh, the ratio is 6 to 1. So if you have one CQT as a sell stake, you can take on six CQT as delegations. And we're going to be updating that to 1 is to 12. So if you have one CQT as sell stake, then you can take on 12 CQT as delegations. And then the update after that, two weeks uh, from tomorrow or two weeks from Thursday, is we'll be updating uh, the, the self-stake uh, caps and so on. So stay tuned. Uh, the, the most exciting thing about this is that every time we make more room, the room gets eaten up within a day. So this shows you how much anticipation, how much excitement there is from the community to be a part of this uh, future that we are building. Amazing. And overall, really great positive message to hear, especially for our community. Uh, the second point or update I'd like to bring up is our developer relations team, always busy despite the market. And so we actually have two hackathons that we'd like to bring up that occurred both in the month of May. The first one being our unified Clayton hackathon. So we saw uh, over 300, approximately 350 developers sign up and we had around just approximately $6,000 in bounties. So it was incredible to see the projects developers came up with. Uh, the second one that I'd like to mention is Hack Money, which is by ETH Global, just wrapped up. Again, we saw 37 submissions in total. And overall, again, amazing submissions. Keep your eyes out for all of our hackathons that are coming your way. And even if you don't participate or sign up, uh, make sure to keep your eyes out because we've got a lot of amazing and very original creative projects from our developer community. Uh, and now for our final update is the past two weeks have been very exciting for Covalent. Uh, Ganesh, would you like to speak a bit more about that? Absolutely. So in the month of May, we've added two new blockchains to our roster of 35 blockchains. Now, what's special about these, these blockchains is that they sit at the intersection of two large communities. So the two blockchains we've indexed are uh, Aurora and Evmos. 
So Aurora sits between the intersection of Neo protocol and Ethereum. So it's an EVM implementation that sits atop Near. Uh, pretty exciting, pretty solid team that's working behind the scenes there. So uh, very glad to be part of that community. The second blockchain we uh, just announced is Evmos. Evmos sits between the Cosmos ecosystem and the Ethereum ecosystem. Now, what's very clear between these two blockchains is that they are backed by communities that have been building for many, many years and are, are net for the long haul. Super happy to have these two chains on board uh, Covalent. Amazing. All right. And everyone, that, that wraps up our bi-weekly update. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to stay tuned for all of our exciting updates coming up. Take care. Bye.